everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. So today we are hopping with Alter New for their new release, which is really exciting. Plus it's hashtag spread joy, not germs day. So uh, without further ado, let's dive in and try out some things. You wanna make sure you check out the blog post below. There's gonna be two linked. One will be the alt new blog post with lots of giveaways in it. And then there'll also be the spread joy, not germs uh, blog post, which will have even more giveaways in it. So go check all of those things out and you can win lots and lots of crafty prizes, find some new makers, get lots of inspiration. So. I am sharing the new Alter New Stencil. So they have some new stencils coming out today. Uh, they'll be linked below. These are the ones that I picked out and decided I wanted to share some cards with you. And I have four different techniques for using stencils. And you can use this technique with any stencil so you can really stretch the supplies you already have. So I'm gonna take my piece of cardstock and I'm going to tape this on just like this. And I like taking, taping it to the back of my stencil if I'm gonna tape, just because I think it makes everything a little bit easier. And I'm gonna start off with my lightest shade. So I'm gonna use the Alter New Baby Pink and a blending brush. So I'm just gonna go over like this. As I say, start with whichever is your lightest shade or if you're doing two totally different colors, you wanna make sure you clean your stencil in between so you can decide what works best for your technique of whatever you're doing. And I also have some really simple ways that you can mount these up. No stamps needed, just die cutting. And it's always a really popular um, technique when we do it as well because it's great for beginners, it's great for on the go, quick and easy, you can craft with the kids, all those kinds of things. So pretty much covered all my hearts in now, just like this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna turn my stencil. So I'm going to take this and take this down. So I'm positioning my hearts in between the ones I had before. So just like this. And I'm going to take these down a little bit, like so. And you want to try and get it as close to in the middle as you can. I'm gonna turn this over and tape again. Now I have it where I want it. Make sure it's pretty well lined up. So you just take a little bit of time to line this one up and then we're gonna pick a second shade. I used Fuchsia for mine. I'm just gonna reposition this slightly. And you can decide, there's two different ways you can recenter this. So any stencil you have that has a small pattern, um, you can do this technique. So for this one, I'm going um, a little bit different. You can see on this one here, I decided to line up and have these in the middle. For this one, I'm doing it slightly differently. I'm going actually to put my hearts in this center space, just like this. So you can do it all sorts of different ways. So you can play around, you can also flip the stencil and you might get a slightly different effect as well. So now I'm gonna take my darker color here and go over my hearts again. This is why I did my light color first because it doesn't matter for this one if the two mix together. And I did get a little bit of a smudge at the top but I know that my cardstock is bigger than I need it to be so I am gonna have to trim it down anyway. So I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Um, but if you are doing two totally different colors, you might want to wash your stencil in between. But you can see now I have a really fun uh, pattern, exactly as I did on this. And then I added the big blessed die and just a little gold uh, black mat. And I added the new antique gold sequins just for a little bit of extra pop and bling on that one. So that is one way to stretch any stencil you've got. I think this was the darker, this is the lighter, um, and to kind of do something a little bit different with it. Now, another way you can stretch your stencils, and again, I'm gonna just take this same tape, so I'm gonna reuse it. I am going to grab out this one. This is called Floral Wallpaper. It's a really pretty stencil. This is the finished card I made, and I actually did this with just two ink colors, so you don't need tons of different inks and things. So I'm gonna again, I'm gonna take this, line it up, tape it on the back. 
and turn this over. So I'm gonna grab out a clean blending brush and I'm gonna use just two colors of ink to create a really nice ombre. So I'm gonna start off at the bottom with Sea Breeze. So whatever your lightest color is, that's where you're gonna start. And we're just gonna put a little bit on the bottom. And we're gonna go up. I'm gonna take another blending brush And I'm going to start my most intense color at the top. And we're going to build up a couple of layers at the top so it's really nice and dark. So I'm going about a third of the way down with my dark. And then I'm going to start to fade it out. So I've got about a third of the way down and now I'm just going to pull down that gradient a little bit too. And I'm going to go back to my bottom and I'm going to pick up where that was and fade down. So you kind of blend these two uh, lights and darks together. You're going to do that last and then we're going to pull that down so that you're going to see across my piece I have all sorts of fun shades. So you see I kind of go from light and I've got some curves in here. So you can really play around and that's just two ink pads and you can still get lots of different variations in there too. So let's put our lids back on, this way around. And then again, I took the You Are Loved die, I cut it out of black and I cut it out of a glossy gold and just offset them slightly so that you have that little bit of uh, bling in the background. And then again, those lovely gold sequins. So super easy how to take your stencil and do something fun like that with it. Now the other ones that they are releasing are really fun. This is one, uh, it's called the, uh, I think it's called Sweet Spring is this one. And then we also have Mega Bloom. So they have the Mega Bloom um, stamp. And now we have the stencil. So let me show you how I did this one because you can see in here I've got some really pretty shading and it was really easy to do. So I'm going to just again take this on the reverse. And grab a couple of other blending tools as well on my brushes. And we're going to start off with a little bit of the bamboo. We want some fresh lemon, uh, maybe some snapdragon and autumn blaze. So to start with, I took my bamboo and I'm going to use this little fine detail in here. And I just added a little bit of that green in here. Because if you look at most flowers, there is green kind of where it starts and I'm fading it out too. See, I'm going in larger and larger circles just to fade that out. Then I took some fresh lemon and I actually just used the same little blendy tool and I faded that into my green. You can see how it mixes together so nicely. Just like this. And then I took my Autumn Blaze, and again, you can still use the same one, and I just kind of dabbed off up here, and I dabbed into the tips of all of my petals. And you can keep picking up this ink that you were using, and you dab down, and you can use that up, do the same. But it just stops you getting anything too harsh, and it gives you a little bit more control about the color you get to put down. And I did the same, I kind of went through these like inner flowers and added some dabs of the darker orange in too. And I like to do my darker shade before I do my lighter one because then I can blend out or blend over anything that I'm not too fond of. And if you get a bit too much, you can go in and blend out. And remember, if you slightly moisten your little brush on here as well, you can blend out any kind of streaks and things that you get in. And then I took my Snapdragon, which is my main shade. And again, I just like to do a tap. And 
And you can kind of see now how all of those colors are blending together. And that's how I got all of these shades in here as well. So you can add multiple shades just by dabbing off using a couple of different colors and it really kind of makes your project pop. Again, I use that Mega Hope dye. I'm gonna link everything below for you as well. So you can go uh, check out those links. You can go check out all the giveaways. Don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell while you're here as well. And we have daily tutorials, lots of fun things going on at the minute as well. Lots of interactive craft togethers, all sorts of fun things going on. And then I'm gonna lift this off. You can see like how pretty is that in there? Lots and lots of shades. You can see how you can build those up. And if you love that shaded look, then you can also try out this one here, uh, which I use the same colors on, and that is their new two-tone stencil. So to do that, I took this side here, popped this onto my piece, and you can go whichever way around you want to. Um, I'm gonna just tape this down to show you. And I did the same thing. I actually used multiple shades, but I'm just gonna go in with a couple on here. Uh, let's do a little bit of fresh lemon. So I just kind of dabbed in some colors with my base, just like this. So really simple. I also took a little bit of my Autumn Blaze too. Oh, sorry, Snapdragon on this one. Same thing again. Just added it anywhere where I thought you might want a little bit of extra darkness and shading. You could also add in a little bit of the green if you wanted to. And then you take, even that's just pretty on its own, but now you take this one here and we're gonna put this one in. And I actually have to, I can't remember how I did this. I did it a couple of weeks ago, my samples. Um, turn it this way up. And this one is gonna fit right on top. There we go. And it takes a second to line it up, but it's worth spending the time to line it up correctly and when I was doing my finished card I actually just taped off these areas so I didn't actually uh, spread any you know, ink or things that I didn't want to and then I took a little bit of my autumn glaze and again I added a few different colors but you can get the idea but you can get lots of colors just with one color of ink and you can see how that then comes out as well. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful, the effect you get. But what you'll also notice on this one, I'm gonna put my lids on first of all, is I have like these splatters of silver in there just to add something. And then I added the friend and things. And they are really, really easy to do. They're really fun too. So all you have to do is take a mister with either alcohol or water in it and mist your cardstock. I'm just gonna have another piece underneath. I've got my Ulta New Silver Embossing Powder. And you can see that the embossing powder will only stick where you've misted. And if you have not enough, you can just flick it and it will go away. If you have too much, you know, you can kind of play around. If you get big water droplets, you can do those too. Say you just wanted this little bit of shading I'm going to take my embossing heat tool and I really like this one because it can stand on my surface and I can heat it from underneath so it's not going to um, you know wash away or blow away any of my embossing powder and now I just heat and you're going to see those little areas turn silver so I kind of just played around with the effect that I wanted but it kind of makes my petals look a little bit dewy um, you can add some water droplets and things on them or so you've got the Sort of more solid area and then over here I left it a little bit more flecky so I'm just going to heat that up so you can see 
so you can see there what happens. So here we've got the more solid, over here it's a bit more flecky. On my finished one, I also had some like water droplets that I made sure I caught as well. So you can really play around with those kinds of techniques. So thank you so much for joining me here today for the Ulta new release. As I said, we also have Spread Joy Not Gems. We'll be going live as part of Spread Joy Not Gems too, so you can join us for that later today. So make sure you've hit subscribe, rung the bell, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye.